Let's talk more about France's role in all of this with former Prime Minister Dominique de Villepin. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, let me ask you, the French lawmakers have debated. They have not voted. Where does France stand? What will France do? Well, the French president, President Hollande, said very clearly that he wants to punish um, Bashar al-Assad for what he has done. Uh, of course, there is a lot of discussion here in France whether we should go uh, for a military intervention or not. But I think the decision of the French president has been taken and it's quite clear. He has also, though, suggested that France will not act on its own. So is France waiting for America? Well, the truth is that uh, Congress has the decision in its hand, and uh, depending on the decision of the Congress, depending on the final decision of Barack Obama, France will join the U.S. in order to strike some military targets in Syria. Let me ask you, uh, you're a former prime minister, you have some thoughts on the matter. Um, do you support that decision? Well, as a matter of fact, no. I don't believe that uh, one, two countries, maybe three or four, if we had uh, Australia and Turkey supporting this decision, I don't think there is an illegitimacy uh, uh, for these strikes. And I don't think it is the best answer today to the problem that we are facing. Of course, uh, we can discuss at length whether uh, there had been a, a chemical attack. I think all the indications are going in that direction. But the main question we should ask ourselves is, which is the best way to protect the Syrian population. And I believe we could take alternative uh, initiatives that would be much more adapted to the current situation in Syria, which is a civil war. For example, uh, taking a humanitarian initiative, uh, buffer, buffer zones, we are facing two million refugees today, four million people displaced, and the international community is not doing enough. We could also work uh, in the direction of uh, the International Criminal Court, put all the evidence together, and prepare a dossier for these courts. That would be the best way to punish Bashar al-Assad if he's responsible for these strikes. And Sir, yet what you're saying speaks to the civil study. war that is underway, and that's exactly not what the U.S. president or the French president seem to be aiming at. They seem to be addressing the world's outrage over the use of chemical weapons, leaving aside intentionally the question of how the war rages on but you cannot separate the two issues. When you are facing a civil war which has killed more than 100,000 people and may kill many more in the coming months, you cannot separate the issue. That's why the main question, that's what I was saying before, is how to protect the population. And not only we have a civil war going on in Syria, but we may have a regional war. We have the Islamists and the nationalists that are confronting themselves. We have the risk of a war between Shias and Sunnis. We cannot be blind and not look at those issues. So there is a risk of escalation in the region. That's why, for me, the main question today is the political initiative. And that's what the leaders of the world should be discussing in St. Petersburg. Because today we have to change the view we have of Syria. Uh, under the French mandate, in the 20s and the 30s, Syria was a federation divided in four regions. Today we have to face the fact that Syria is not a country anymore. Uh, communities cannot live with one another. We have to protect the communities from one another. Today, the Alawites are a, a threat uh, for uh, the Sunnis. But uh, maybe in the coming years, uh, the, the, the Alawites will be, threat, will be threatened by so, the Sunnis. So you're suggesting, know that you're the, suggesting opposition... the de facto partition or some kind of new arrangement yes, I believe, I believe for Syria. Who would do that? I the United Nations the is, is impeded by Russia. The United States does not want to get involved. Who no, would actually no, no, cut up no, Syria no. that I new believe, way? I, I believe today we can find an agreement between Russia, the U.S., Europe, the Arab League under a new Syria that will be much more adapted to the current situation. We know that 10% of the Christians are very much threatened by the situation going on in Syria. We know that 13% of the Alawites are fearing 
uh, the position of the Sunnis. And we know that the Sunnis are strongly divided between the ones who want a democratic Syria and the growing number of the ones who are following the jihad. This situation, like the one we have faced in Korea, in Germany, these new options. We are talking about uh, a problem which is not the real concern of the Syrian population today. How to assess and how to better the security in the country. I think this is really what is at stake. And by uh, discussing over the military intervention, the countries of the world are not addressing the real issue of Syria today.